One of the newest singing phenomena overseas is a 29-year-old gravelly-voiced singer-poet who worked at jobs like a firefighter in the Mexican border and a dishwasher just so he could keep working at his music. His name is Tom Waits, and he doesn't work at or try to be different or unusual. It comes to him naturally. Listen to this. He, uh, that was an unfortunate selection of a piece to show you right there. I thought I would say that now, so I wouldn't have to say it later. To me, he is a mix mixture of um, Satchmo Armstrong and Humphrey Bogart when he sings. He's, uh, it's an incredible style. Uh, in reality, he sings like no one else does or ever did. And uh, he's going to be doing a number for us a little later tonight. And I think you're really going to like it, and you're going to understand the, uh, the great sensitivity with this man. So would you welcome the curious and the very talented Tom Waits, here. Yeah. <laughs> How are you, Tom? Oh, I'm better than nothing. Yeah. <laughs> ashtray. Um, we don't have. Can we have an ashtray? Got an ashtray, man? If not, wait. I'll tell you what. In the meantime, here. You can use this uh, oh, glass. All right. Just get it in there. How? Uh, hang on. Are you all right? Yeah, just all fine. Right. Thank I just you. want to check until you're settled in. That's all. I don't make it comfortable here. Okay. How long? <laughs> nice shot. Here it is. It's okay. Story might. We all miss once in a while. How is? Uh, how long have you been here in Australia now? Uh, I got here last night. Uh, I was on the plane uh, from Paris for about uh, 22 hours. Mm -hmm. It was a fascinating flight. Uh, and uh, what do you do for 22 hours on a flight? You have ways of entertaining yourself. Or? Well, they show movies that are not a big success anywhere else. <laughs> <laughs> yes. They put them on the planes. You want these? This is what you're looking for? Thank you. Yeah. I would do that for you. It's a part of the host is supposed to light the guest cigarette and stuff. I do that, but you look like a man that can handle that all by yourself. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we got an ashtray yet? It's all right. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, you put the burnt match in it. How long have you been? How, <laughs> How long have you been singing? Pardon me? I said, how long? <laughs> That's not well okay, I'll get right here with you. I'm all right. Don't worry, I ain't going nowhere. I'm going to do this interview with you. That's it. Thank you. There you go. Well, you got people working for you and everything. That's right. <laughs> All of it, it never fails, Tom. I get, you know, you can ask for anything you want on this show, and we'll have someone go out and get it for you. Christ. <laughs> Uh, we tried to get him, but it wasn't enough money. <laughs> we didn't know who to call for the booking. <laughs> I, I got the wrong agent. Uh, how, how long? <laughs> Is there something down here I don't know about? <laughs> right. Let's, let's move ahead. Okay. Um, they tell me that you have sort of a cult following. Uh, is that what you don't do you agree with that expression a cult following I have a growing level of popularity uh, throughout the uh, intercontinental United States uh, <laughs> Japan and uh, I travel extensively in Europe as well mm. uh, yeah, I don't do half bad I, uh, they tell me you have a new market now in Ireland is that true yeah. I've performed in Dublin and done very well there as well you look uh, like a leprechaun. You should do well there. Well, I, uh, I'm also big in Philadelphia. <laughs> Excuse me. 
I feel like I'm at my grandmother's. <laughs> I won't clean anything off. Do what you want. What would you call your singing? Uh, your singing style? What kind of music is it that you really like? Is it all your own stuff, or do you do other people's things as well? Occasionally, I'll do a cover version of somebody else's number, but primarily, I like to deal with my own travel logs. Mm. And, uh, and to what kind of an audience do you work? Is there an age bracket for your audience, do you think, or is it... Uh... Or is it um, a mixture of all? Mm. You're starting to sweat. Now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you were in my position, you would be too. Uh, I'd like to have a show next week. <laughs> <laughs> Question five. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> <laughs> If I stay here with you another 10 minutes, there's going to be an Indian raid. You're big here in Australia. Yeah. <laughs> now you know why. Yeah. At 29, it, all Thank of you. <laughs> Are you 29? Yes, as a matter of fact. Well, at, at 29... <laughs> My God, it's the first time I've seen you up straight. What is it? <laughs> Pardon me, I didn't mean to say straight. <laughs> Well, how's everything, Tom? Good, thank you. Everything's all right. Good. At 29, you write about all of these things that happen to you, like this sort of like a low-life thing that happens. You know this song that you're going to be you doing? You read that right off the page. No, I didn't. Now you did. <laughs> Said low-life right there. Where? I read oh, yeah, low-life there. Well, I won't mention that then. You don't want that question either. You got a pen? Can I borrow a pen? Hang on. Look, I'll go through the list, Tom, and you tell me what you like to answer, and then I'll do it. <laughs> How long have you been singing? You answered that already, didn't you? I've been on the road about seven years. Seven years. Okay, we got that. Seven yeah, years. Right. Really okay. Quite well. <laughs> How does a guy with a voice like that decide to be a singer and succeed? Well, it was a choice between entertainment and a career in air conditioning and refrigeration. <laughs> Um, what about some of your, your early influences, early influences on you and your music? Uh... I enjoy Rod Steiger. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Rod Steiger? Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, uh, that's good enough. Rod Serling. Mm -hmm. uh, I have all of their albums. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, uh, I enjoy um, Lord Buckley. Uh, Lenny Bruce. Uh, and, uh, <laughs> Lord Buckley, you lost the world. Nobody here would know who's Lord Buckley. You know who is Lord Buckley. Yes, I do. Uh, we right. ain't going to talk about him here. <laughs> okay. Now, now we come to the good part. Your acting career. Uh -huh. Remember that? Your acting career? Yeah. I'm over here, Tom. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> um, we have a clip here with uh -huh. Sylvester Stallone. You know Sylvester? Uh -huh. You know Sylvester Stallone? Yes, Big I remember. Yes. <laughs> Sylvester Stallone uh, did this movie called Paradise Alley, in yes. which you had a part. Yes. Did you enjoy that, doing that movie? Yes, I was uh, like about uh, five weeks of work for about three lines of dialogue. <laughs> and it was uh, interesting to see the bowels of the of the film industry. I'm certainly glad you finished the sentence, yeah. <laughs> but uh, it was uh, a totally new challenge for me. Do you, Ed, let me ask you something. Do you worry about achievement? Does it worry you, or do you just do your own thing and say, here it is, you either accept it or not? Well, uh, do I worry about achievement? No, I worry about a lot of things, but I don't worry about achievement. No, but, well, I'll, uh, I'll scratch achievement off then. I mean, I, 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 I worry primarily about whether there are nightclubs in heaven. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't get a booking there. They'd be overbooked, wouldn't they? Aren't all the greats up there now? Show business heaven you're talking about. Uh, search me. Depends what you got on you. 